hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is esther and today i'll be showing you how to prepare soft and juicy gizzard stew yep chicken gizzards and also i'll be serving it with some cardamom coconut rice without further ado let's get to this so i'm going to start by showing you how i clean the gizzards uh we need to remove this extra fats this and also for the inner side there is usually a yellow covering you need to take it off for example this one doesn't so I'm just going to clean one by one and also remove this so it's gonna take time but if you need to have tasty gizzards you need to do that especially this part if it's green you need to remove it yellowish yeah i'm going to look for one that has that what i'm talking about yeah this is what i'm saying see this yeah and this part you need to remove everything so we are just going to clean it one by one. so after cleaning this is what you should have i really love the kenchik gizzards it's like they do most of the work for you because it was not that dirty it took me about 10 minutes to clean this and then the pieces are quite small so i don't need to slice them again since the process during cooking they somehow shrink so i'm just going to leave them as they are you can see some of these pieces are just too small maybe i can just cut the ones that just look so long into two but some of them are already in very small pieces all, all i will be adding to my gizzards i'll first boil them so I'll have them in the pot. Like so, then I'm going to take my onions. This is my red onion. That is one piece of onion. Then I'm going to add two cloves of garlic. Then I have a piece of ginger. And then I'm going to add a mint, some mint leaves. I'm putting whole. Yeah, like that. Then I'm going to add some salt. then I'm going to cover this then I'm just going to add some water enough just enough to cover yeah like that then I'm going to put this to boil for about 40 to an hour 40 minutes to an hour so let's do this so we are going to cover this and we'll keep on checking it and let it cook for 40 minutes to an hour so for the coconut rice i've added some coconut oil about two tablespoons then i'm going to add some cardamom five pieces then i've 
cut them into two. Then in this, I'm going to add some salt. So here is my rice, I've washed it about three times. I'm not normally good when it comes to measuring, so I just add some hot water. that's enough so we are going to wait until this boils and that water reduces to almost half of it then we can add our coconut milk so at this point is when I add my coconut milk just enough not too much that's okay then I'm just going to mix it well. So then reduce my heat and cover. My rice is ready for serving. Yeah. So let's wait for the gizzards. So for the gizzard sauce, I'm going to add my mixed peppers into a blender. Then I'm going to add two pieces of ginger, one piece of garlic. I also love to have it mild, so I'm going to add half piece of habanero. Then I'm going to add two tomatoes. To blend this, I'm going to add some water, just enough to blend it smoothly. One hour later, my gizzards are ready. You can see that. So I'm just going to Move them to a strainer. In a pan, add some vegetable oil. I'm not going to be deep frying this, I'm just going to pan fry it until it's brown. So at this point, I'm just going to remove them and continue with the rest of the sauce. This is what I wanted to achieve, that brown color. Yeah. And this is enough. Let's remove them. In the same oil, I'm just going to add my green onions. I'm going to add some salt, some chicken masala, about a teaspoon. Just stir that in.
I'm going to go in with my blended sauce. So I'm just going to cover this, allow it to simmer and get thick. I need less water. This is just too much. So I'm going to allow it to simmer for about five minutes. So after five minutes, this is what I have. So at this point, I'm just going to go in with a gizzard. Then I'm going to add some rosemary. Then add the chopped peppers. So now I'm just going to cover this. for about 15 minutes so the stew is almost done I'm going to add some green onions and coriander mix it well and since I want the taste of this to be very fresh so I'm just going to cover it for five minutes only five minutes and we can go ahead and serve so this is how I've served mine the coconut rice garnished with some onions, green onions, and ready to eat. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you loved it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video.